never felt tomorrow closing in this fast. Oh, I guess time's in a rush. Leaves are falling down. As much as we love to decorate, and you know it's our passion, but we are not interior designers. So you can just imagine how exciting it is when you get to pick the brain of someone who is. In today's video, you're gonna be inspired by five ways to spruce up your home. It doesn't matter what your decor is, and who better to share their ideas with us, tips and tricks, is designer and owner Nick from Spruce Home Decor. We are so thrilled to be doing a collab with them on this video, so let me introduce to you Nick. Leaves are falling down, but at least they grow back while I Hey Nick! Hi everybody, how are ya? Thank you so much for hanging out with me here at Spruce today. Thank you to the two orchids for having us. We're so excited to tell you um, some tips and tricks that we've learned about over the years of how to um, make your home look beautiful, not only for the season, but um, for everyday decor as well. So stick around. All right Nick, tell us some tips here. I'm yeah. looking forward to it. So one of the best tips that we can give in a home decor is um, accentuating your living room and your couches and bench with oversized pillows. So pillows are the best way to transform the entire space. It's one of the most inexpensive ways to do that as well. So if you wanna change up colors, if you wanna change and bring in new textures, adding oversized pillows, and I say oversized because you really wanna make an impact mm -hmm. um, to those couches, to those chairs, is one of the best ways to do that. So we're in the fall season, as you can tell, and we have these beautiful um, textured um, wool buffalo plaid pillows now this is gonna be a 20 by 20 inch which is a nice size because it really can give you that pop of color that you need so this one's gonna be an orange but you can bring in mustards and then you can go to your grays and your neutrals for everyday decor so make sure you playing with pillows in your spaces they're gonna add color they're gonna add texture and they're really gonna give you an impact and not gonna cost you that much money um, in the long run so that's one tip to do there that's really gonna transform that space. Love it. All right, so tip number two is creating ambience. Ambience in your house is gonna allow that to feel comfortable, relaxing, and really set the mood for yourself and all the guests that you have in your home. So we have a beautiful line of flameless candles here, and many of you might have some, but they are a great way to add to your space that's gonna create light, which we're all attracted to, but it's also gonna create a nice, calming feeling. So everywhere from your larger um, three wicks to your tapers to your pillars, use them throughout your house to create that ambiance all the way through and the best thing is these are on a remote so you can sit from your couch put them on a timer and enjoy that beautiful light in the when the dust comes along so um, this is tip number two with those flameless candles make sure you're adding them to your spaces to create that beautiful mood in your home the time I got, it is just to get by. yeah it is just enough So tip number three is gonna be all about layering. So when we talk about layering, we're talking about everything from your area rugs to your throw blankets, through your pillows, to even the way that you layer in your whole buffet. So one easy way to do um, is to definitely add pillows, which we talked about in tip number one, but also I wanna take it to the next level and have some beautiful throws throughout your space. So this could be everywhere from draping it over to the back of the couch to if you have an ottoman, perhaps laying it over the ottoman, but you're really creating a lot of layers. Another great tip, especially during the season into the Christmas, is to layer your area rugs. Now I know this might sound like a lot, um, but I want you to think about it. You might already have one area rug down. Well, think about putting another area rug on top of it, maybe at an angle, or even layering one on top of that. And here's the thing, if you don't have hardwoods and you have carpet, put an area rug over your carpet. It's totally fine. Having those textures would be totally fine. You just don't have to have hardwoods to do an area rug. So when we're talking about fall and we're talking about into the holidays and those cozier months, we want our homes to feel cozy too. And by layering fabrics and pillows and area rugs really allow you to get that cozy feeling like putting on a sweater and a turtleneck and a hat and a scarf, um, but wrapping yourself up in your home. So don't forget about layering. So 
we are on to tip number four. And tip number four when it comes to interior design is about adding mirrors to your space. Now my philosophy is every room should have at least one mirror in it. And here's why. Mirrors, one, are very beautiful and architectural, so they create a dramatic presence in a space, but also the trick that a mirror is doing is it's actually bouncing the light off uh, into your room. So if you have a mirror across from the window, it's grabbing the sunlight, pushing it onto the mirror and bouncing it in the room, creating a brightness and a more filled space. So this is why it's important, not only from a design aspect, like this beautiful arched mirror, what a dramatic statement, but it's also casting light in the space because now you have something in your house that's bouncing light off of. So remember that in your spaces. Have a mirror in each room. Now they don't have to always be big mirrors. They can be smaller mirrors, but you wanna have that element of glass in a space because it's really gonna open the space up and create more of an illusion of a bigger space and more light. Tip number four, there you go. Sometimes I understand I'm making all the wrong demands in life It never pays in the end But still I Tip number five is going to be talking about color and ways that we can add color into our home. Now, the days of houses being painted taupe or just white um, I think are a little bit behind us. We are coming out of COVID and we all want homes that are cheerful and fun and just beautiful to be in and look at. Now, I wanna challenge you all out there to find a space in your home and um, find that space that you can change that color of your wall seasonally. So we are in a store here, which is kind of like our showroom. So we change colors all the time here. As you can see behind us, we painted this wall a beautiful mustard color for the fall season, but you can do this in your own home too. So find that space in your home, maybe not a big project, but somewhere where you can go out and get a pint of paint and every season you're changing the color to match your decor. It not only will keep your house fresh and different for every time people come in, but it will give you a project and something you can be proud of as well. So find that space in your home, go out to your local paint store, find your favorite color of the season and put it on your wall and build your decor around that. Just like we did here with this mustard wall and accented it with all the mustard um, florals for the season. So, that so I know what you're thinking. Painting a wall seems like a big project and then you gotta repaint it back and that, but did you ever think of using peelable wallpaper to put on your wall and then painting over that and you could take it right down after the season and you're right back to your everyday look. Just another little tip there so it doesn't seem overwhelming. Use peelable wallpaper, paint that, and then you're able to strip it right off. So that's my challenge and design tip number five. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm Nick from Spruce Home Decor. You can find us at Spruce Home Decor in your app store or right online. All right, Nick, I know we have our why for our channel, like why we do what we do. So why, what is your mission? Tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, so there's um, our, our mission of the store and in, in our store here and why we do what we do is we want to um, inspire others by creating a beautiful atmosphere and a place where they can come in and see, be seen and heard and find inspiration in. And also, you know, through this, we want to support our community. So that is kind of our foundation there, but you know, it goes a little bit further than that for me. There's some philosophies behind it. You know, we wanna provide items that we get inspired by because we really feel like your homes should be an, a reflection of who you are. So if you walk in and you find something that you love and you just know this needs to be part of your home, it should be yours because you're connected to it. And we should fill our homes with things that we are connected by. And that's what we do with our store. So when we shop, we're hand selecting these items. We're going through, we're saying, yes, that's an item we want to carry. And the item right next to it, we might not love as much. Right. We want to find the things that we love. And you should do that when you're out there shopping. You should find those items that you want to love and make it a collection of the things that represent you and your family and the home that you're um, inviting people in on. And I can agree with you because actually while we were setting up, I already was connecting with quite a few pieces here that I know will make my home, like I always say, my haven. And yeah. I am just, uh, I'm excited about all this and I hope that you guys are taking away these amazing 
tips uh, that he has given us today and I just love it. I can't thank you enough. Well, thank you for having us. This Absolutely. is so fun. This is so fun. And all of you out there, if you want to know more about us, yes. you can find the links down below. Yep. Download our app on your app store, Spruce Home Decor, and check out Two Orchids' awesome videos all the time. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Oh my gosh, thank you. And guess what? We have another video coming, so stay tuned on Thursday. You're going to see another great video with Nick here. So thank you guys so much. We'll see you. Bye. Bye. Friends, I did want to share with you, Lauren and I were both so excited to be filming these two videos that uh, you are seeing um, from Spruce Decor, but Lauren ended up getting COVID and tested positive this morning. Therefore, she was not in these videos. We were, like I said, so looking forward to doing these together, but trust me, we've got so many more videos planned for you guys. Uh, once together, absolutely too. We've got so much on our list. So don't you worry, we've got a lot in store. And for all of you who have been hanging in there with us, all of our new subscribers, welcome, welcome to our channel. We feel so blessed and honored that you chose to hang out with us.